first unboxing. Got the arcade block from the fine folks of the original Nerd Block. Uh, it's pretty cool, I mean, just in terms of the box itself. Can't wait to get what's in there. But, uh, you know, it looks like a NES, which is pretty cool. Uh, their shipping tape. I don't think anybody, of all, all the videos I've seen of this, I don't think anybody's ever talked about this. It's actually the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, PA start. So kudos to them. Pretty cool for having the little things like that. And another cool thing about it is when you lift the front lid, it's like you actually open the lid on the NES. There's a game inside and everything. This one says, a boy in his block, trouble in Blockalonia. <laughs> so let's get inside here. Packed pretty nice, kind of loose with everything, but uh, still pretty safe. The t-shirt is the thing that I was looking forward to. We're straight off, right up on the top here. Oh, this is cool. They see me rolling, they hating. Sweet Donkey Kong shirt. Definitely gonna be wearing that later. We got some, uh, Retro Genesis Classic Button Pack. That's uh, got Sonic, uh, Joe something, the Shinobi guy, uh, one of the Battletoads, and Earthworm Jim. It's pretty cool. I like buttons. Uh, used to have a crazy jacket. Actually, it was a trench coat. It was the 90s. Uh, had a lot of buttons on it. Uh, Probably gonna end up putting this on my uh, on my backpack. The Tetris Notebook. This thing's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go ahead and open this one. Um, a lot of people, actually, yeah, yeah. A lot of people on the internet are kind of complaining about this one. If they're uh, if you're originally a subscriber to, I believe it was just the regular Nerd Block. Uh, back in November, they gave this out then. So a lot of people uh, that subscribe to both ended up getting two of these and so for me it's not bad because I only get arcade block I don't get nerd block so you know it's not a big deal but to them that's kind of, it's kind of not cool you know recycling stuff like that and here's what's cool about it the edges are cut out as different Tetris pieces depending on how far in you get but yeah that'll make a nice addition Next up, we've got the Halo Rapid Attack Covenant Ghost. I'm not a big Halo person, uh, but I am a big fan of like uh, Legos and the Creos. I really love the Creos because of the, the whole uh, Transformers tie-in that they have. Not really a fan of the Bayformers, but you know they actually pay homage to the uh, uh, original like G1 head sculpts. So that's really cool. I could probably do something really funny between those two and, uh, and this. Got the Plants vs. Zombies Time Apocalypse uh, graphic novel. This is done by Dark Horse, so it's got to be quality. Uh, all the pages full color, so that's pretty nice. So we'll definitely be checking that out later. And a sticker sheet. These are the uh, Playful Gorilla Gaming 1.0 stickers. Uh, this also has, in the background of it, the uh, Konami code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, PA. Uh, but, yeah, it's got um, Sackboy, Big Daddy, Sub-Zero, really pissed off looking Link. Uh, Star Fox. Well, I don't know who that is. And Scorpion. And then... I can never remember his name, but it's the, uh... Who's the guy from Fallout? The little dude. Anyway. Um, yeah, these are neat. I like stickers. Definitely put these on some. Then... The pack-in sheet, 
the uh, little postcard thing that they do. Uh, arcade block. Mega Bloks Halo Ghost. So that's right here. That's like the main thing. Uh, Tetris Notebook, which we did. The Plants vs. Zombies uh, uh, graphic novel. The Sega buttons. Even the Gorilla stickers. And then, of course, the t shirt. One thing I do like is the uh, full bleed, full color postcards that they put into these. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, and they also show like the variants. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it because of lighting, but uh, the variants that they have here of the t shirts. Uh, they all have the uh, yellow print, but they can come on a black t-shirt, a green t-shirt, or a blue t-shirt. I got the gray one. So, uh, yeah, other people out there got different styles, so that's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I noticed, and other people have uh, posted this on their videos as well, it's kind of a lackluster January. Uh, part of it is, like I said, it doesn't bother me because I don't have one of these yet. Uh, was the recycle of the notebook and it just didn't seem like they they had a lot of s cool stuff I mean some people are would be, probably be going crazy over this halo Lego set or mega block set uh, the t-shirt is always awesome I'm a big fan of uh, of game related t-shirts so and just nerdy shirts in general that's the uh, the uh, tartar sauce slash grumpy cat but uh, yeah, you know, I, I might give this another week, uh, another month. I'll do the next one, and I might switch it off to one, another one of the, uh, the the blind boxes like this uh, from another company. But you know, this is my very very first uh, subscription box, and it's also my first unboxing. So uh, I'd say all in all, this is not bad, and uh, you know, it's a good start for somebody that that's never done one of these, that's never had a subscription box, but. Uh, having seen the ones in the past on other YouTube videos, I would say I'm a little bit skeptical and hopefully this isn't an indication of what the rest of the boxes are going to be like for the uh, for the rest of the year. But, you know, like I said, I'll give it another month. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I mean, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, just, just speaking comparatively to the rest of the stuff that I've seen. But uh, uh, I am pretty happy with this. And I look forward to the next one. So that's uh, January 2015, Arcade Block. The Video Game Mystery Box. And this is Frederick Gameplus. We'll see you on the next video.